Hey guys, this is Matthew Rollins with Anchor Bat. Today we are going to be talking about the number one asked question. It is, what is the right model for me? How do I choose a model? There's so many models to choose from, I'm lost. Well, we're here to help and we're here to say that there might not be the perfect model. So oftentimes, just for example, Major League Baseball players, they'll have some have upwards of 20 models they choose from. If they're a switch hitter, they have models they hit with when they're right-handed or left-handed. If there's a guy throwing, you know, more off-speed pitches, or if there's a guy that's just in there throwing, you know, straight gas, they're gonna they're gonna use a, a different model based on that. And then there's other guys that say, hey, this is my model, I'm gonna stick with it, and they spend 15 years in their career swinging one model. So there's not a right or wrong, and there's definitely ways of of helping choose models. Um, what we don't want you to do is just say, hey, I'm going to pick a 243 because that's the only thing I've ever heard of and that's what my friends have swung. So after you place an order with us, one of the first things that we do is follow up with you to confirm, hey, this is the model that you chose, this is the length that you chose, and we just want to make sure that's the model that you actually want. So we'll walk through a couple of things with you on, you know, what style knob do you like? Do you like it more of a, a little bit of a medium flare? Um, a smaller flare, more traditional to where the knob comes to an abrupt end? Do you like a bat with balance? Do you like a bat with a larger barrel? You know, what is it that you're looking for in your bat? Obviously a lot of hits, so what we want to do is make sure that we get the bat that flows best with your style. I'm a backside hitter, I'm a power hitter, I'm a gap-to-gap -gap guy, and there's models that definitely fit into that. So many times guys get hung up with, hey, I need a bat that's over two and a half inches in the barrel, that the handles at X amount, and you don't really know why. And just a quick example, the difference in a 2.48 and a 2.52 inch barrel, people in their mind think, wow, that's a significant, that 2.48, so small. It's actually just a couple pieces of note card. So if you were to get digital calipers out, you were to wrap that around there, um, that's the difference in a 2.48 and a 2.52. So there's not much. So we don't want you to get hung up on the barrel size or anything else. That's why we're here to help walk along with you in terms of this, hey, is it the I-13? Is it a model we don't even have on our website? But we want to make sure that we set you up for success and that comes with what model might be best for you. So is there a clear cut answer to it? Absolutely not. But we're here to help you. We're here to walk along the baseball journey with you. And we look forward to talking more in detail about this subject in weeks to come. Thanks so much.